Hello and welcome to 7th grade at STEM. We are Team Justice League and Team Adventures. We're excited to share more about our curriculum and instruction this year, as well as our grand challenge, Health Informatics. First, we'll hear from Ms. Burrell about ELA. Welcome to 7th grade Accelerated ELA. I'm Mrs. Burrell, the ELA teacher on Team Avengers, and this slide presents a brief overview of the curriculum we're going to be covering this year. The year begins with our literary sta standards in reading and will be followed with narrative writing. Uh, in late November, early December, we begin our nonfiction informational reading, followed by informational and argumentative essays. Ongoing topics that we'll be covering include our Greek and Latin STEM program that addresses vocabulary acquisition and grammar usage and mechanics. Next, Ms. Walton will share information about our independent reading requirements. Thank you, Ms. Burrell. Uh, this is Ms. Walton. I am the ELA seventh grade teacher on Team Justice League. And I wanna talk a little bit about our independent reading. So throughout the year, um, we do independent reading where students are expected to read at least 20 minutes a day. That can be any time of day, just at least 20 minutes daily, um, or you can sort of marathon it on the weekends, up to you. Um, <clears throat> we do at least two novels per nine weeks because we have two different book projects that we do every nine weeks. One is a book presentation project where they can choose to do a book jacket or a shadow box or a virtual setting. The other is a blog post. So that is why we have those two books per nine weeks. If you want to read more, please be welcome to do that. And you see in the table that students who read at least 20 minutes a day have much higher test scores. And so we want to encourage reading as much as possible. And we have ways to do that with virtual libraries too that we will get into. Um, next, we have Ms. Swanson talking about math. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Ms. Swanson, seventh grade teacher for Team Justice League. Welcome to seventh grade Accelerated Math. This year in math, we will continue to build our knowledge of seventh grade math standards as we wrap up with inferences, probability, and geometry. We will then dive into our eighth grade topics about mid-semester one. These topics build upon the concepts of seventh grade math, but also lay the groundwork for success in eighth grade algebra one. We will also be sure to review standards that students were only able to practice from home in the spring continuously throughout this school year. Now, here's Mr. Odom to share some information about the technology we will use in math class. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Odom, Team Avengers math teacher, seventh grade. Um, since we're starting this year off virtual, we've got a few um, programs that we're gonna be using. Uh, the center, for everything is going to be a program called It's Learning. Uh, when we conduct class, we'll be doing it through Zoom. And a few other apps that you need to get familiar with are Google Drive, which include Google Forms, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, also Metamoji, and we'll also work on some USA test prep. And next we have Social Studies. Hi, I'm Ms. Marchant. Um, I'm the seventh grade Social Studies teacher on Team Avengers. Um, in seventh grade social studies, it's the second half of a two year world area studies course. Um, we will cover three focus areas, which include Southwest Asia, Africa, and Southeast Asia. The goal of this social studies course is to increase student knowledge of world geography, history, economics, and governments within the regions of focus. The students will work on developing their analytical skills by thinking like a historian throughout this course. This course encourages students to engage with meaningful current events to deepen their understanding of the course content as well as the world around them. Next, we have Ms. Sowers who will go over the four social studies domains that we'll be covering in those focus areas. Thanks, Ms. Martin. So our four main social studies domains that we'll be looking at this year are geography, history, economics, and government. Um, there's a good deal of continuity and concepts between our different focus regions, including types of governments, economic systems, political geography, physical geography, um, and cultural geography, such as religion and ethnic groups. Um, we'll also be looking at major historical events in these focus regions, 
from about the mid 1800s onward and looking at how they have impacted uh, both those regions specifically and the rest of the world. Next, we'll have Dr. Clark talk about life science. Hi, this is Dr. Clark and uh, I'm uh, on Team Avengers and teach the life science and biology class um, for the seventh grade. So uh, this year we'll uh, be studying a number of different areas. Um, mainly the focus will be on uh, thinking about organisms and learning about cells and cell structures all the way up through the whole organism and how that organism interacts with the environment. Um, so we'll be also uh, studying ecosystems and how different organisms interact, um, different biomes. Um, the, another area is uh, heredity. Uh, we'll be studying uh, Darwin and some theories of evolution um, and biological evolution. Since it all, we also are an accelerated science program, we will be touching on some of the standards from eighth grade physical science, um, particularly those um, areas that touch on uh, concepts within the life sciences area, like energy and energy transformations and things like that. Um, the second, and I just wanna mention is that in the biology class, We'll be going into much greater depth in a lot of different areas like photosynthesis, cellular respiration, um, and also uh, there's a big emphasis in the biology class <clears throat> on um, heredity and biological evolution. And next to talk about some of the overarching concepts within life sciences is Miss Bishop. Hi, good morning, everybody. I'm Mrs. Bishop. I'm one of the seventh grade science. I'm from Justice League. Um, here in seventh grade science, we'll be teaching you how to act and think like a scientist. And also, of course, we're going to follow the scientific method. Uh, one of the trusts here right now for, the, for seventh grade science is we are going to link the different domains of science to application. And here are some of the cross-cutting concepts patterns, cause and effect, scale, proportions, and quantity, energy, and modules, and stability, and chains. So welcome you all to the seventh grade science. And the next one will be Miss Davis. Hello, I am Miss Davis, the seventh grade research teacher on Team Avengers. What does seventh grade research look like? Seventh grade research is an interdisciplinary course that ties all the subject matter in all of the, across content areas, math, life science, English language arts, math, and all applications course. It ties everything to our seventh grade grand challenge of health informatics. On our next slide, we'll be discussing topics that, co that are covered in our research class over the course of the year. First semester, we'll be discussing our scientific method, and our science fair. Each student is required to complete a science fair project. Um, we also go into our DNA, RNA, and genetic structures, as well as biological overview of the epidemiology, as well as second semester going into our grand challenge, with his, which is health informatics. And during our grand challenge, we will be discussing tracking and mapping diseases, reporting and the response systems, monitoring and treating those symptoms and prevention control. That is seventh grade research. Welcome to STEM.